You know, when I really think about it, we're tested in a lot of areas of our lives. We're tested in, at work, you know, to see how effective we are as far as our performance. We're tested uh, when it comes to our vehicles, you know, we have inspections, we have all these different things. But one thing we don't like to be tested in is our level of patience. We want people to be so patient with us. Hey, you know, I borrowed that $100 from you. I don't have it this pay period. Can you give me another week or, you know, give me until next pay period or give me until next month or give me until next year, whatever the situation may be. But if the shoe's on the other foot, we're more inclined to say, yeah, where's my money? You know, I, it's, it's been a long time. Or even let's go a step further. If someone has wronged you, you are like, I want to get this person back. I don't care about anything that's going on. You're forgetting about forgiveness. You're forgetting about turning the other cheek. You're, you're forgetting about vengeance, saith the Lord. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. We're, we're, we're overlooking all this stuff. But if we wrong someone, we're like, hey, can you, can you get over it? What happens to our level of patience when the shoe is on the other foot? Have we forgotten that we must be patient just as we expect people to be patient with us? The same grace that they give us is the same grace that we want from them. The same grace, it works on both, both ways. It's a two-way street, but we treat it like it's a one-way street. Ephesians 4, chapter 2, or excuse me, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2, reading from the NIV, it says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Where's the love, y'all? We want love. We want to give love. We want to receive love. But are we giving it like we want to receive it? Are we really taking the time to let people get over certain things that they've, they've or, or kind of work out amongst themselves the things that we've done to them. We want people to jump right in the, the deep end without getting in the shallow end and us encouraging them, saying, hey, you got this. Hey, you can do this. Hey, I believe in you. I'm rooting for you. I'm encouraging you. I'm here to help you if you have any questions. What questions do you have about what we're doing? These are all things that will allow people to be more comfortable, but they won't be comfortable if you're like, come on, hurry up. It's taking too long. And the more we ask God for patience, the more difficult things will come to help build our patience. But we don't realize that in the moment. We feel like, God, why is this person, why are they, why are they, why are they taking so long? I, I thought that I talked to them about this before. That behavior that I told you that you need to correct, you need to correct that now. But yet, there's behaviors that we need to correct, but we're not ready to deal with that yet. Oh, I don't even want to talk about that. You see the double standard? We have to cut and eliminate this double standard. The same grace, the same patience that we're looking for in other people is the same patience, the same grace that we need to exhibit to other people. It works both ways. It's not one way or the other. I don't know why we treat it that way. It's easier said than done. I'm sitting here saying it easy, but it's a challenge for me as well. It's a daily challenge. And that's why I begin my day in prayer. Lord, you know, this patience thing, us as humans, we struggle with it. I struggle with it. Help me with this. We know when we ask for help, help may come in a way that we may not like. We may have be faced with a situation that's going to require to stretch and grow our patience. But we don't see it that way. We get upset. We get frustrated. But remember your prayers. Your prayers, you pray your prayers. You, you, you converse with God. But we don't control how he wants to grow us in the area that we're asking for. We have to trust and believe. Trust this process. It may be a long one. It may be tiresome. You may want to give up some time. But I encourage you, keep going. Let Patience have its perfect work so it can be complete and you will lack nothing.